a former engineer is going public with what she says is a frequent problem inside Uber, sexual harassment and sexism. She describes the company as an organization in chaos. And this morning, the CEO of Uber says he hears her and he's taking action. Engineer Susan Fowler joined Uber for what she called the opportunity to work with some of the best engineers around. But within weeks of arriving in 2015, Fowler says her direct supervisor made unwanted advances. In a blog post on Sunday, Fowler wrote, My new manager sent me a string of messages over company chat. It was clear he was trying to get me to have sex with him. Fowler says she immediately took screenshots of these chat messages and reported them to Uber Human Resources. But she claims upper management tried to sweep her complaint under the rug, calling her supervisor a high performer and saying they wouldn't feel comfortable punishing him because it was, quote, this man's first offense and probably just an innocent mistake on his part. Yet Fowler says other women engineers later told her they had the same problem with the same individual. This morning, Uber hiring former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder to lead an urgent investigation into Fowler's claims, as well as diversity and inclusion more broadly. CEO Travis Kalanick calling the alleged behavior abhorrent and against everything Uber stands for and believes in, adding that anyone who behaves this way or thinks this is okay will be fired. And today, Uber board member and media mogul Ariana Huffington is participating in a company-wide meeting at headquarters in San Francisco to meet with employees. Silicon Valley insiders say Fowler's experience is not unusual. It's a shame that it takes someone taking the bold personal risk that Susan did to attract national media attention to something that happens on a daily basis in the workplace. A recent survey found 60% of women in tech-related jobs reported unwanted sexual advances. 60% also said when they reported those sexual advances, they were dissatisfied with the course of action to resolve them. Fowler's supervisor is no longer working at Uber, but the company has not confirmed that. She left too, having started a new job in January. Now, this is just the latest major issue plaguing Uber, reigniting the delete Uber social media boycott. It's also just two weeks after the company's CEO stepped down from President Trump's Economic Advisory Council after Uber users protested that. Now, Kalanick says it's his number one priority to come through this a better organization. Guys. All right, Jill and Ken, thanks so very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.